there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. This is your weather video for Saturday, October 24th, 2020. Showers and thunderstorms can be expected through the day today as a cold front moves through the area, while Sunday will be dry with mostly cloudy skies. We're also watching a disturbance in the tropics that has the potential to bring more rain to the area during the work week. We'll get to those details in just a moment. Radar check at 6.05 a.m. shows a good bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in association with that cold front that is currently pushing through the northwestern parts of the area. The heaviest activity is over portions of Walker, Jefferson, Tuscaloosa, and Bibb counties. Nothing strong at the moment, as, and this activity is moving to the north-northeast, while the overall system movement is slowly to the east. Temperatures at this time across central Alabama were in the mid-60s to right at 70 degrees. Birmingham, Montgomery, and Selma were all tied as the warm spots at 70 degrees. Several were tied as the cool spots at 64 degrees. There are no watches, warnings, or advisories currently in effect across the area, and it should stay that way through the day today. Now let's dive into the forecast, starting off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 4 p.m. We'll continue to have a cold front move through central Alabama through the daylight hours that will bring showers and thunderstorms along and out ahead of the front. The front will be out of the area by tonight, but showers may not end for the southeastern portions of the area until around midnight or so. We could see a few strong storms with gusty winds and small hail, but severe weather is not expected. Highs will range from the upper 60s in the northwest to the lower 80s in the southeast. While it will be a dry day across the area on Sunday, we will have a good bit of clouds blocking out a good bit of the sunshine to end the weekend. Afternoon highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s from northwest to southeast. The start of the work week will be dry and warm across central Alabama with a good bit of sunshine, but another system associated with a cold front will be approaching from the west. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. The cold front makes it into central Alabama by Tuesday morning, and that will bring a chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the entire day. Afternoon highs will be in the mid 70s to the mid 80s. We start to see some moisture associated with a potential tropical depression moving into the southern half of the area on Wednesday, which will bring increased rain chances into the area for a little bit. This model run does not have the system making it to a tropical storm, but we'll be watching it. Highs will be in the lower 70s to the lower 80s. The GFS has the tropical low moving through the northern parts of the area during the day on Thursday that will keep us wet at times throughout the daylight hours but most of the activity will be out of here by the late night hours. The heaviest rainfall looks to occur over the extreme northern parts of central Alabama and all of north Alabama, where projected totals are showing two to three inches of rain. If this pans out, we may have to watch for localized flash flooding issues. Since this is tropical in nature, this will probably change throughout the next few days, so stay tuned. Highs will be in the 70s. A cold front helped to push the tropical moisture out of the area before the start of the day on Friday, and it will bring cooler temperatures to central Alabama to end the work week. We look to have plenty of sunshine with highs reaching the mid-60s to the mid-70s across the area. And now taking a look at the tropics, taking a look at Invest 95L, we are seeing an increase in organization over the Caribbean Sea just south of the Grand Cayman Island, and the environment will remain favorable for further development. We may have a tropical depression form within the next 24 to 48 hours while the system drifts northward to northwestward. For now, the National Hurricane Center has it moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico by the beginning of the work week. The latest ensemble guidance shows that most of the members have the system moving across the Gulf of Mexico and potentially making landfall somewhere on the northern Gulf Coast within the next five days. Intensity guidance shows us that most members keep it as a tropical storm. It will be named Zeta if it does make it to tropical storm strength. We'll have a much better idea once it gets better organized, so stay tuned. And now taking a look at Hurricane Epsilon. As of 4 a.m., Epsilon continues to move farther out to sea and away from any land. The center was located about 355 miles to the north-northeast of Bermuda and was moving to the north-northeast at 12 miles per hour. The maximum sustained winds were at 75 miles per hour. It will experience gradual weakening over the weekend and will become post-tropical possibly by Sunday afternoon. 
That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.